Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. It's been a bit of a long time coming here, but uh, it's finally happening. We're going to unbox our guitar kit from Crimson Guitars for the Great Guitar Build-Off. I'm really excited for this one. Uh, I think it's going to be really cool. I know most of you probably don't know at this particular moment in time which kit I selected. So yeah, this is going to be great. Really excited to, to open this up and show you guys what I picked and start thinking up ideas. I'm going to actually ask you to stick around to the end of this one because we're going to talk a little bit about this project and how I'm going to be putting together the videos or the series on this one. It's not going to be quite the way that I normally do it. Um, but yeah, we'll chat about that at the end. For now, let's get started. Was that, was that kind of gimmicky? I don't know. It's a flip out box cutter. Okay, so right off the bat, this guy's got some weight to it. I notice on the outside there is something attached, and that is a guitar nut. They sent me two guitar nuts. Uh, I appreciate that. That was a stupid way to use a knife right there. Don't do as I say, not as I do. Anyway, they sent me two of these, which is interesting. Uh, this one is a lot thinner than the other one. They're both blank. Uh, I guess... I have the option if I want. They sent me a pre-done neck, so we'll take a look at that. It appears that I'll have the option if I want to kind of knock off the piece at the back and make more of a Gibson style nut. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Well, two nuts is an appropriate amount, I suppose. Anyway, let's get this guy opened up. Now, this better not be anything like, oh, they, yeah, I guess I can just cut right along the top. This better not be anything like when I tried to open up that guitar kit that uh, that Dan from Guns and Guitars redid and sent to me so that I could paint it, because that was ridiculous. I'm sure this will be well packaged, I have no doubt. Um, but yeah, if I have to take a saw to the packing material, I'm going to be annoyed. There's paper everywhere here. It's going to cut right through the weight bill, apparently. I should probably move the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. You know, the one problem with this garage setup is I don't have a table that I can put between myself and the camera properly. But anyway. Uh, deal with that later. Oh, oh boy. <clears throat> well, it's packaged reasonably, and it looks beautiful already. Let's... Uh, Let's start with the body. <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful. Beautiful two-piece ash body. It's the joinery on it is perfect. I, until you look from the edge, you can't really even tell where the joint is. I mean, you can assume that it's in the middle, but you can't really tell. Let's take a look at the neck here. I've uh, moved some of the rest of the stuff out of the way and onto the floor where it doesn't at all belong. Make sure we don't actually slice into the neck by accident here, because I, this one should be pre-shaped. Although the fretwork on it is not done. That was an option that was provided to me, but I like to do that stuff myself. And now Crimson has supplied me with some tools to do it, as you will have seen before, so that'll be interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is gorgeous. You know what? The frets actually don't look too bad. But I'll do my own stuff to them. Here's what you need to see. We've got an unshaped headstock, essentially. Neck is reasonably thin, which is what I like. And of course, <clears throat> they've got my logo. Now, if you're thinking, Brad, what the heck are you talking about? That's not your logo. We know what your logo is and it's a BA. I've got a new logo. Uh, <laughs> this is the Angove Guitars logo. Let me zoom in there. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be using as I move forward with my pickguard designs and sales and stuff. So. Welcome to Angle Guitars. Now this particular kit 
creates a bit of an interesting situation because I can't really test the neck fit, can I? I kind of can, maybe. Snug, quite snug. Maybe even a little too snug, in fact. Um, but that's fine. That's for uh, for a bolt-on. That's perfect, and we probably will do a bolt-on because this is going to be auctioned off at the end, sold presumably, and then need to be shipped to someone. So a bolt-on will will make that better for everyone involved. And I really I like bolt-on necks. I do. Uh, so we might do it that way. Aside from that, though, I can't really test this guy because this is in the way. When Crimson said, hey, take a look, uh, pick your guitar kit. Also, we have a raw kit that hasn't been released yet. And guess what? Now it has, but at the time it hadn't. Of course, I said, well, what's this raw kit you're talking about? And then it was revealed to me that they had uh, these kits coming out, these new raw kits that are just a chunk of wood with everything you need to, to put your pickups in. Those cavities are there. I'll double check here. Nope, the holes from cavity to cavity are not there. So don't let me forget that again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that was the ultimate SG kit. I didn't check and for some reason the holes weren't drilled in that particular uh, kit. So yeah, we won't be making that mistake this time. Anyway, it's got the humbuckers already routed and more importantly, the neck is done and pre-matched to the pocket. And that's, that's the key. That's the important part. All of this, I am confident, will line up beautifully. So the bridge placement will be accurate to the neck uh, and the humbuckers will be centered. And that's what you need. So that's done. And aside from that, there is unlimited room for creativity here. You can do whatever you want. And I mean unlimited, think about it. If you wanted to do something utterly ridiculous, the edges are straight. You could just glue more stuff on and do that. The only exception to it being just a perfect rectangle is the cutoff corner here. And that's there for a very specific reason. That's where the hole is drilled to get into the control cavity. Speaking of the control cavity, well, that's beautifully done too. We've got the ferrule holes here uh, that are ready to go. I'll need to widen them for what I have, I think. And then we've got the plate already there, ready to go. <sighs> All right, let's talk about how this project is gonna work. And I'm just gonna hold this neck tenderly while we have this discussion. So this one, uh, I'm on a time limit for, as we all are, and you'll see, I'll post a few interim videos and then everyone should have kind of their final videos at the end. I, I highly encourage you guys, check out the other builders involved in this. It's the Great Guitar Build-Off. Go to thegreatguitarbuildoff.com. See who's doing this thing. We got some talented people involved. It's gonna be a heck of a contest. It's gonna be really cool. Um, <clears throat> but in terms of mine, it's not gonna be a tutorial. So. I can do one of two things. I'm not going to make it a tutorial as such. It's gonna be a little bit out there. It's gonna require some interesting equipment uh, and it's really not gonna be much of a DIY style project. If you have questions as we go along, of course, feel free to ask them. Uh, but I can do one of two things. I can kind of voice over it like I normally would and try to explain to a degree what I'm doing, if not how to do it, or I can do something more like with music and a little bit more cinematic and kind of just try and make it an interesting, entertaining thing to watch. I know you guys generally follow me for the tutorials. I'll include some information one way or another. Uh, but out of those two, uh, the typical kind of voiceover, all right, here's what I'm doing at this point and uh, here's what I'm thinking, or more of a cinematic type of thing. Let me know what you want. Let me know what you think will be more interesting. Drop a comment. Uh, and I will take that into consideration as I move forward with this. I think the key here is I really need to get to work because I am probably the last person to unbox mine. Uh, I've been too busy talking about how badly I'm going to smash Texas Toast guitars on this one. If you guys aren't familiar with them, go check them out. They're, uh, they're great. They do great work. I'm just, I, I have to kick their butts at this. It's, it's mandatory now. But I need to get started on designing this guitar and uh, as you all hopefully know by now at the end of these projects for all of the builders involved the guitars are getting auctioned off for charity of the builder's choice so everybody selected something different uh, I'm not sure what everyone else has 
but mine is going to the Stollery Children's Hospital, which is a local hospital here in Edmonton that deals exclusively with children, children in ICU, children suffering from acute illness or injury, and their mandate kind of is not just to provide the best care, which they do, but also uh, to help them still feel like kids while they're at it, while they're in the hospital, while they're going through such difficult times. They're very supportive for family, very supportive for children. I am very lucky to have never had any experience with them directly. I don't have kids, and when I do, I, I certainly hope that uh, that they're healthy and it won't be an issue, but it's a fantastic charity, and uh, they are my charity of choice for this. So, <sighs> yeah, I'm going to get started on this. That is the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to give a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It really helps me out when you do that. If you want to use a guitar kit from Crimson Guitars to follow along, you can do so. Send pictures to me and submit them to Crimson Guitars through the great Guitar Build-Off website, and they will feature at least some of them. We've, we've discussed this before, and I think there were prizes. I think <clears throat> the top prize or prizes uh, for best build, I'm pretty sure they win a guitar kit. So there's an opportunity there. It's pretty awesome. I will put the information in the description for that. Uh, you can get a discount uh, I think it's Angove 10, but I'll post it down in the description and probably pin it as a comment if I remember to do so. So check that out if you want one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe so you can see what I do with this thing and let me know what format you would prefer out of the two options I gave and I will maybe do one of those or, uh, or maybe I'll do something else. We'll see. No promises. Thanks again, guys. Really excited to work on this. Have a good one and I will see you next time.